Hey everyone, welcome to Coalt. It's a new indie developed game on the PC and it's based on true events. There were these nine hikers who went on this expedition together and they all died in mysterious circumstances, but even to this day they apparently don't know what happened to these people. So this game is going to attempt to explain with some horror elements and I'm guessing it's going to get pretty interesting. Anyways, remember to leave a like, every like does help me out a lot, and it also lets me know if you want to see this turn into a complete series. And make sure you also click subscribe to join Sneaky Nation, you don't have to miss any more videos in the future. And I do hope you enjoy. Let's do this. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototen Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. Act 1, here we go, Sneakies, here we go. I don't know if you noticed, but the narrator is actually a famous actor, that's Sean Bean. It's pretty surprising an indie developer managed to get a pretty big actor, but somehow they pulled it off, they definitely deserve some props for that. Now, immediately, the first thing that stands out about this game is obviously the amazing graphics. This is using the Unreal Engine 4, or Unreal <laughs> 4 engine. And I believe it's the first time that I've played a game using this engine so far. Definitely looking forward to more in the future like this. It's amazing how much better it is than Unreal Engine 3. Alright, so we're gonna explore a little bit. Can we open this? Oh, I guess we can't go in there. Great soundtrack too. I like the way they show that he gets tired too. If you notice after he runs out of cinema, watch this. It's all disoriented. Uh, check that out. <laughs> That's awesome. They put a lot of detail into this game. It's pretty impressive, I have to say. It's 
seems like there's a lot of different paths I can take. I'm just not sure which way to go. I guess we'll just follow the train because that's kind of where they were facing me when I started. I believe the main gameplay mechanic they're using here is exploration. And there is some kind of horror element mixed into it. I'm just not sure what it is yet. I didn't want to look it up because I want to be surprised the first time I see it. I'm not sure if it's going to be like slender or if it's going to be something else. I can't wait to find out though. Oh, music just got all weird. There's some like whispering or something. Oh, you can't even jump in this game. <laughs> this damn obstacle, it's so big. Alright, anywho, let's backtrack. Looks like... Can I go up here? No. Uh, this is very much not a winter wonderland. <laughs> Where'd the music stop all of a sudden? Is someone watching me? See, I kind of feel like I'm being watched because there's so many different spots I could be hiding in. And that whispering is really creeping me out. I feel like I should stay on the path, but I kind of want to veer off of it. What is this, a bridge? Oh no, it's like a... Looks like it might be a pipeline or something. And damn it, it's blocking my path. I can't crawl under it, of course not. That's too logical. So I guess we'll go back this way. Yeah, I guess we'll just try to follow the path and see where it goes. If it goes anywhere. Oh wait, here we go. Are you coming to me? Does he know it's coming? Why does it feel the vision again so small? He must know what the horror element is. Right. Let's keep going, this is really creeping me out. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light, the pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody, nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Oh, don't do that. The game just started. Where I'm supposed to go. Blinding light. Oh, look at that! That is so awesome. He leaves footprints behind in the snow. <laughs> That's amazing. See, it's the small details that really impress me. All right. Anyways. I finally reached something. Here we go. What is this? I am right behind you. Alright everyone, that is officially the end of Act 1 of Colot. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you're as excited as I am about the complete playthrough coming very soon. Be sure to leave a like, remember every like does help me a lot and also helps me know that you want to see this turn into a full series. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe to join Sneaky Nation, that way you don't have to miss any more videos in the future. And I will see you next time.